It's FA Cup semi-final day, another opportunity to get through to a uh, an FA Cup final and win our third FA Cup of the series. Uh, we've also got a big Premier League match in our relegation battle. Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is part 53 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. And things are looking a little bit more promising than when I last seen you. Since we were, um, well, since I last seen you when we uh, beat Man City 3-2, we then went on to beat Rangers 3-0 in the first leg with Calvert-Lewin, Madison and Carlson on the score sheet. We then beat Southampton in the league. It was a very good performance. Ollie Watkins got himself on the score sheet for that one. And then most recently we drew 2-2 in the second leg against Rangers. Calvert-Lewin and Neymar getting the goals there, meaning that we are through to the semi-final of the Europa League, we are taking on Napoli in that. Um, so you know the the Champions League hopes are still alive, very much so. Um, and if we have a look at the Premier League, we're currently in sixteenth. We've got two games in hand on most of the teams around us. Um, so we're we're starting to pull away. We're starting to pull away from the relegation battle, despite only being one point ahead of West Ham. So we need to keep our foot on the gas and make sure that we uh, we 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 save ourselves from relegation, essentially. So, let's have a little look. Um, oh, what's happened? Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Ah, I've, I, I did just pick it for next match only, and then I went into tactics. That's so annoying. Ah, I think we had Ollie Watkins up top. Um, oh, I, I don't know anymore. Was that was that the team I picked? I'm not. E I'm not even sure. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I said we needed Neymar on the on the bench. At the very least, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll go for it. Hey ho! This is the team. The assistant thinks we should play. So Kepa in goal with Cancelo by Maguire and Laird in defence. We've then got Jordan Henderson as our defensive midfielder with Loftus Cheek and Madison in the midfield and Calvert Lewin and Yotta starting wide of Ollie Watkins up top. So let's get into it then, and hopefully uh, we will see us get through to another final. That's that's certainly the the, the plan. Um, what what do we want to say? Um, Nobody expects us to win. There you go. That that that's what every player wants to hear, isn't it? But there you go. Uh, come on, boys. Let's try our best in this Wembley semi-final. We've got an excellent record at Wembley, so let's let's keep that going. As far as I uh, am concerned, I, I think you know we've got an excellent chance. If we play our best, if we don't play our best, we'll get absolutely smashed. I mean, Liverpool um, are one of the best teams in the league. They're possibly the team that are going to deny us a Champions League spot via the Europa League. And, well, Mo Salah has just scored his 33rd goal of the season. Joao Felix with the assist there. It was a little bit of a sloppy one, wasn't it? You can see Odegaard got it forward. Alexander-Arnold, who managed to, to get it into the middle. And then Felix was there with a the header. And Mo Salah rolling around on the floor, sticks a foot out and manages to get the goal. Unbelievable, really. But it's 1-0. Right. He has laid. Madison. Diogo Yotta. He laid now. Laid on the ball. He has Watkins. Madison. Four to Calvert-Lewin. Who equalises straight away. 21 minutes gone. And it is one all. Dominic Calvert-Lewin with his 18th goal of the season. He is coming into his own a little bit on that right-hand side. I must admit. Um, and Madison starting to look the real deal. Finally, after 58 million spent on him in the summer you would have expected him to, to to showcase that potential a little bit sooner but uh hey he, he is turning up now and that's all that matters florentino hits the bar that was close that was very very close i think it's fiorentino isn't it uh let's have a look is it where uh, yeah Flo no it's florentino luis there you go that's fine um, here's Ethan Laird, gets it to Henderson, now Cancelo, oh, that wasn't good, that wasn't good, and Salah running away here, it looks like penalty written all over it, that was a cross, oh, Kepa makes a mistake, 
Oh, I'm tempted. He's made a blunder. We're going to bring Martinez on. 40 minutes in. That's how brutal my management is sometimes. When keepers aren't playing well, you need to get them off because they are just going to continue making mistakes. Martinez has been a hero in the past. He is a club legend now. Um, and hopefully he's going to prove that today. He gets it forward towards Calvert-Lewin. Doesn't make any difference. So Florentino Luis forward to João Felix now. And Martinez couldn't keep it out. And it's 3-1 Liverpool now. And they've virtually sealed it. You'd say we're not going to score three goals against Liverpool. And uh, it looks like we're going out of the FA Cup. But um, I suppose if we thrash our arms about a bit, we say we're far from pleased. Maybe... Maybe, just maybe, they will come back in the second half. Here's Allison Gets it forward. Maguire with the header. Now Madison. Madison. A Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin gets it forward. And Watkins. Here's Calvert-Lewin. Madison. Watkins again. <laughs> he got it that time. It was take two. And he managed to put it into the back of the net. Eighth goal of the season for Ollie Watkins, who seems to be getting back to, to, to where he was, um, you know, towards the end of last season. Uh, still not the the player that was scoring 40 goals last season, but uh, he's he's certainly getting back towards that level of play. He has uh, Laird gets it to Yotta now against his former club. Laird. Laird pushes forward. This is a great run. Laird goes for the shot. And Becker pulls off the save. That was an excellent um, stop from, from him in the end. Oh, Madison's got an injury. Oh, what was that from Martinez? Oh, what is going on? Goalkeeper blunders in this match. And that is very, very frustrating. That's all I can say. We're going to make two changes and try and get back into this match. But that was a goalkeeping blunder for the records. What was he doing? That was just terrible. I mean, the game will do its best to blame Harry Maguire for that, but uh, I think that's very harsh. Maguire was just minding his own business. Willock gets it forward. Well, that was poor. That was poor. Becker now with the, the clearance. Here's Calvert-Lewin. Henderson now. Henderson wide to Laid. Laid forward to Neymar, who's just come on. Neymar gets it in. Calvert-Lewin hits the bar. And now Ethan Laid. Willock. Henderson, why are you going backwards? No, what are you doing, Jordan Henderson? That... <sighs> so frustrating. He has laid. Now Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin, laid. Gets it in. Watkins is there, but can't do anything with it. He has Emmy now. Gets it forward to Salah. Laid out of position because he took the throw in. Salah now. Salah cuts inside. And Martinez actually makes a save. I think I definitely regret bringing Martinez on. He's he's on a 6.3 at the minute. Um, you know, so much for being club legend and all that. But, uh, yeah, just doesn't look like today is going to be the day. He has Odegaard. Now, Shifo. Shifo on the ball. Henderson cuts it out and then manages to lose it. What a save that was from Martinez, though. And that will improve his match rating a little bit. Emmy into the middle. Maguire away. We're still... We've got an inkling of a chance here. We, we are famous for, for dramatic moments against Liverpool. And certainly equalising in this match would be a huge dramatic moment. Here's Calvert-Lewin. Willock. Willock gets it forward but loses out. Here's Maguire. Loftus-Cheek. Now Willock gets it forward towards Ollie Watkins now. Watkins loses it. Watkins again, though. And it's Calvert-Lewin, Loftus-Cheek, Ollie Watkins, Neymar. How have we not scored there? How? That was ridiculous. Bye. Now Loftus-Cheek. Here's Willock. Willock. Here's Neymar. Go on, son. Gets it to Ollie Watkins, who is looking like he's getting tired out there. It's whether we switch him to the wing and try Neymar up there. Laid. Laid cuts inside and it's another good shot, but unfortunately this time Allison in the way. Neymar with the corner, she four away. We are massively on top of Liverpool at the moment. Can we potentially 
get a goal back. We need a goal now, though. Here's Bordu. Oh, Henderson's made a mess of that. McNeil, here's Emmy. Odegaard, it feels like Liverpool's fourth coming. Sorry, fifth coming. Bordu, Felix, Mo Salah. Oh, what is Martinez doing? <laughs> oh, if anyone has, has declined the most this season, it's Emiliano Martinez. What a player he was for the last three seasons. But this year, he has just lost it. And with Kepa going back to Chelsea in the summer, I think a goalkeeper may well be top of our list. We're out. Oh, what a semi-final though. 5-2 Liverpool. <sighs> and we just weren't good enough defensively really. And, and I have to say both goalkeepers are responsible for it. Um, I mean Maguire and Bailly have their fair share of the blame as well. Um, but uh, there you have it. 5-2 Liverpool. Yota suffers defeat. Oh, Madison's out for the next two weeks. That's not good. That is not good. So we've got the next match against uh, Bournemouth. At least, you know, the, the FA Cup, we've drawn a line under that now. Um, whatever the board think about that, 65%, that's all right. Um, they're now 27% happy with, with the Premier League. So who knows? We, we might get away with our job at the end of the season. But uh, a big defining factor in that will be recovering from that semi-final defeat against Bournemouth. Well, a couple of changes for this match. Well, quite a few, to be honest with you. Uh, Kepa's picked up an injury, so Emiliano Martinez starts in goal, hoping that he does a lot better. Aarons will start right back. Christensen and Brindley uh, starting uh, at centre-back. Laid uh, continues at left-back. Uh, Endombele comes back in as defensive midfielder. Jordan Henderson gets a continued run in the team as box-to-box -box midfielder with Joe Willock alongside him. Jesper Carlson and Diogo Jota will start wide of Callum Wilson up top who has just returned from injury so I'm hoping that that uh, Callum Wilson can uh, can go and do something good um in this match he, he you know he he hasn't scored a league goal for us he's obviously been pretty much uh, the top scorer in all of the last five seasons so I am expecting better from um, good old Callum Wilson, and we'll see if we get it today. So come on, boys, let's beat Bournemouth. They are just above us in the league, so uh, it's a good chance to, to move up a bit. Oh, that's over the bar. So not the best of starts, but um, we'll 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 see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, come on, boys. This is this is what we need. A good victory today. And that'll get us. That'll get us going. I've seen Leicester a one 0 up against Everton. Man, Man United leading Man City. He has Christensen header off the post, and Nick Paul pit, picks it up for for Bournemouth. Yeah, that was a chance. Here's Henderson now. He's bombing forward. Gets it wide to Max Ahrens. Ahrens continues. It's Carlson. Oh, it's off the post. I thought that was one 0 Jesper Carlson. What a great chance that was. And, well, at half-time, it's 2-0. I think we need to thrash our arms about here. We're far from pleased with what's going on. Diogo Jota, not happy with that team talk, but uh, I'm not happy with his performance so far, I've got to admit. You know, I've been singing his praises recently, but today he's not, he's not doing well. 16 minutes gone. Um, it was a mistake playing Callum Wilson today, apparently. Uh, I mean, some would say it was a mistake signing Callum Wilson. Um, Calvert-Lewin will stick him on the right-hand side. We'll stick Jesper Carlson in on the left. Carlson's done all right today, so hopefully he can he can get us the winner. But uh, it's still nil-nil. And this is the thing, you know, we've beaten teams that were, were not meant to beat recently. And, you know, we even gave a, a great account of ourselves against Liverpool last time out. And could have beat them on a different day. He has Watkins. Good save. Good save from Pope. I thought that was going to be Ollie's moment there. Carlson into the middle. End on belly. Tried to steam in with a header. Didn't manage it. He has Carlson again though. Carlson on the ball. Brindley. Oh, and back to Christensen. And end of highlight. 
Come on, boys. We need this. We are playing the better of the two sides, but we're just not taking our chances. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, I thought that was a, a good moment, but Willock's got it back. Here's Henderson. Wide to Aaron's now. Aaron's. Go on. Get it in. Somehow we've not scored. Oh, what do we do here? What do we do? Um... Hmm. I think Neymar has to come on for Carlson. He's, you know, he's he's a special player, Neymar, and we need a special player right now. We're going to go attacking. We need the three points today. Nil nil is not enough. Very attacking. Three minutes of added time. It's not. It's not going to happen, folks. It's full time, and it's a bore draw. It is a bore draw. And it's not good enough. It really isn't good enough tonight. That was two points lost, most definitely. Uh, you know, we're lucky that Everton have went down today. Um, you know, and they've not picked up points on us. Our game in hand is, is going to be on somebody higher up the league than Bournemouth. And, uh, yeah, we've got a very interesting few weeks coming up. I think when we come back, we will possibly uh do the the wolves and uh, napoli game we'll see how the napoli game's going if we're absolutely smashing it we might come back for the final two matches of the season against crystal palace and west brom um it all depends really how we do in the europa league but uh thank you very much for watching a little bit worrying uh, the last three matches that we haven't won we're going to need us to start pumping the fists a bit and hopefully get a victory against uh, Bristol City to set us back on the right course. But uh, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button down below. Subscribe for weekly FM content from Monday to Friday. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.